Watch out, watch out, watch out. Anime, woo! We love anime. Anime is tough, right? And that is because anime has everything. They have people boxing. They have people playing football. Touchdown! They have good and interesting stories that'll raise your IQ like 30 points. They have Minita for My Hero Academia, and they have people dying. So yeah, they have all of that shit. But one great thing that anime has that also makes me levitate like five dimensions is anime transformations. Now I'm not gonna lie, anime has some very tough transformations. They got Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time, which is really just him turning his hair color yellow and it going up a little bit, but trust it's tough. Bro said, ah, and be anime's most nefarious races of all time. So you know what I'm saying? That like amplifies the greatness of the transformation. When I saw Goku beat Frieza, it's like I saw Martin Luther King Jr. in him for a second there. Martin Luther Luther King Jr. was fighting against racism. Goku was fighting against racism. They're practically the same person for real. There is no difference. What did he say? They also got Ichigo's full hollow transformation. And not gonna lie, if we're gonna keep it a buck, that transformation is like top five. Everything about the transformation was just tough. You can tell that Kubo had a good night's sleep before it was time to make that transformation. The design is just so tough, bro. It's drippy. So yeah, Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time and Ichigo's full hollow form are two good examples of great anime transformation there are other great examples like opium ichigo and there is jubito but i believe that monkey d luffy one of his transformations are one of the best transformations of all time which does kind of make sense because monkey d luffy is like the greatest character in all of fiction no i am not biased not the cap. year five luffy yeah now, Gear 5 Luffy is so tough. Oh my goodness. Bro, Luffy got clapped and died. Damn. But came back to life with dreads and started boxing. Now, before I fully cover Gear 5, I'm gonna go over every single Luffy transformation leading up until Gear 5. And now I'm gonna touch Gear 5 because it's tough. Luffy is him, and all his gears are add ons to him being him. So when we finally get to Gear 5, Gear 5 Luffy is really just him quintupled. M squared plus him cubed equals him quintupled. Basic elementary and rudimentary. Mensary hemimatics. Now, first, we're gonna start off with gear two. Now, if you don't watch One Piece, there is no gear one. This is gear one, and this is gear two. Woo -wee! Now, gear two, I'm not gonna lie, is a smooth little transformation. Bro activates gear two and starts steaming in. She visually, the transformation is a hype, but you know, he's about to fold some people, and that's low key what a transformation is for. For real, a transformation should do two things one, it should make the person stronger, done it. and the other thing it should do is to let everyone who is around the transformation and looking at the transformation transformation know that that person is about a boom people. like when goku went ultra instinct against jiren you were like oh shit. because you knew he was about a boom people when mob reached 100 you were like oh shit. because you knew he was about a boom people if you don't get that oh shit feeling then that transformation was kind of chips i'm not gonna lie so although gear 2 doesn't look as cold as ichigo's full hollow form it still is a tough transformation because you get that fit. if you're fighting someone and they start steaming not gonna lie say goodbye and also Gear 2 Luffy is also tough because that's when he starts moving mad fast. Bro upped his body temperature and started flash stepping, bro, just like Ichigo for real. When Blue Note encountered Gear 2, not gonna lie, he could not handle it. Bro was out there struggling, he was not built for all that. You wanna know who else wasn't built for all that, but was low key built for all that, but turned out in the end to not be built for all that? Rob Lucci, lame man, and not gonna lie, this is also gonna bring me into Gear 3. Now, essentially, Gear 3 is Luffy making parts of his body bigger to boom. And basically, Luffy does this by blowing himself. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, Gear 3 isn't really a transformation because, like I said, he's just making his limbs bigger by blowing himself. But you know what I'm saying? He did call it his own little name, so we gonna count it as a transformation. Give me. Now, Luffy is 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, short and eight. But then guess what? That's why Gear 3 is so tough because even though he's so short, he can make a fist and next thing you know, he's 20 feet 6. Now, you got a full speed 4,000 pound fist coming at you from a dude who's actually 5'7". And that along with gear 2 is what rob lucci had to deal with layman and the crazy thing about gear 3 is that it combines so well with like every other transformation bro can use gear 3 while using gear 2 he can use gear 3 while using all the other gears too he just
just be in the Tonka going bonkers. Luffy jumps mad high when he uses gear 3. I feel like if I was fighting him in the One Piece verse, I'd be like kind of like terrified because even if that fist doesn't like directly hit me, it's gonna cause like a big earthquake. I might get touched no matter what. But yeah, that's gear 3. Now here's gear 4. Now with gear 4, there are three types of gear 4s and all of the gear 4s are cool except the last one. I don't know what Luffy was cooking with that one. But we gonna start off with the first gear 4. Gear 4 Bounce Man. Woo! -hoo! Now gear 4 Bounce Man is goofy, I'm not gonna lie, but it's goofy in a cool way. It's like cool goofy. It has just enough goofiness to still be considered cool. Even though bro gained like 600 pounds, the form itself still looks cool. And gear 4 Bounce Man is even cooler when that's the form that Luffy used to defeat this evil Anna. Bro said gear 4 Bounce Man! And ended Doflamingo's life and by end his life, I mean put him in prison, but yeah. The next gear 4 is gear 4 Snake Man. Now gear 4 Snake Man, in my opinion, is Luffy's second best transformation. Gear 4 Snake Man looks just like Gear 4 Bounce Man, except that Gear 4 Snake Man isn't 400,000 pounds. And Luffy's hair goes up, and because Luffy's hair goes up, it's tough. So the form itself looks cool, and plus, this is the form that Luffy used to fight Katakuri. Now, Katakuri is a 16 foot 8 dude who can see the future. He can stretch like Luffy, he can move like Luffy. Not gonna lie, he basically was Luffy. And Luffy used Gear 4 Snake Man to barely beat. That, so that speaks to how tough the transformation really is. Gear 4 Snake Man is tough and he booms people with it. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and lastly is Gear 4 Tank Man. Now Gear 4 Tank Man, not gonna lie Luffy, what the fuck? The look of the transformation is very questionable, but he did send Cracker flying all the way back to Big Mom looking at him. He did his job so the transformation is valid somewhat kind of. And yeah, that is all Gear 4 transformations. Bounce Man, Snake Man, and Tank Man. Now, the last one we finna talk about you already know me. gear 5 Woo now gear 5 luffy is so tough oh my gosh i'm finna cry ah! the way bro's white hair goes up is so tough like snake man and the white stuff going around him i have no idea what that is but that's tough too what is questionable though is the fact that luffy has the nika nika fruit but his hair and clothes turn white but eh. the transformation itself is still tough bro is moving mad goofy not gonna lie you love to see it you want to know what else you love to see how luffy <laughs> was doing kaido in gear 5 Woo bro luffy got up and said this is my peak head and then he enlarged his arm hut gear 3 and just started violating kaido <laughs> bro was swinging him around bro was slamming him on the ground bro was knocking him around town it was just bad for kaido and then luffy was just laughing at kaido afterwards not gonna lie if i was kaido i'd be sick imagine beating the same dude five times just for him to come back with his joy boy form and start folding you and then laughing at you not to mention luffy turning kaido into a cartoon you see the second kaido lost was the second he fought the mc if you are ever the main villain of an arc in an anime and you fight the mc not gonna lie count your days you'll either die afterwards or your life will get significantly worse your downfall will come very very soon not saying that kaido lost or anything because you know what i'm saying i don't spoil stuff you know what i'm saying so he cut the one he cut a loss but his downfall will come very soon probably maybe i don't know but nah basically gear five is when I was watching the episode at like 11 p.m., not gonna lie, I was levitating like 50 times. It truly was in its peak. But yeah, not gonna lie, that is the video. Follow my Twitter. I'm low-key getting active on there. I said that before, but like I'm actually like posting for real types. Follow my Instagram if you fall with me. Join my Discord at 1,000 members. We will have a rap battle. We got like 600 right now, so like 400 more. We will be rap. We will indeed be looking like Prime Gunna out there. So yeah, drink some lemonade and subscribe in that big. Eevee. I went to the party and was getting sturdy. I got a Ferrari and was going 30. I got a Ferrari and was going 90. 2 to 3k in my drawing like Nike. Sitting course, I have to get my gun spikely. Open a 2k, hop on the mighty.